Underground Rough House, we caught up the man, the myth, LL Cool J. What's happening, man? What's going on? Just, you know, getting ready to drop this new album November 21st. Um, new single is coming out now. It's called Hey Lover. It's me and Boys the Men. And uh, I feel real good about this project. You know, I'm totally dedicated and committed to making it happen. What, now, this is your sixth album, fifth? This is my seventh album. Seventh. It's my sixth one that's being released. Okay. Yeah. Um, which one didn't get released? Uh, I made an album after my last album okay. that um, never came out. We just started renegotiating and, you know, getting business issues straight. And by the time we had everything straight, I felt like we should just make a new one. Okay. So we went in there and just made a new album. Now, you come, you come a long way since I Need a Beat, <laughs> my radio, yeah. until now. Now, can you tell me the difference between rap then and till now? Man, you know, rap really hasn't changed that much in terms of, you know, the integrity of rap and, and the spirit of rap hasn't changed. Uh, social, economic, and cultural conditions affect the lyrics, uh, you know, what people say. They affect what people say and how they express themselves. But rap hasn't changed. The spirit of rap is still the same. Right. It's, still, it's still driven, it's still driven. By, that, by that uh, that desire to just... Have li have skill and be skillful and you as an oral skill, you know, just an orator. Now, when you came out with "I Need a Beat," you came out with the, the slamming beat had had the bottom on it, had everything. It was it was, it was rolling, and that kind of pioneered other rappers that had that same kind of beat. Mm -hmm. Then when you did um, "I'm Bad" with the video, you had some new concepts to the video. People start following that. Do you feel that you're an uh, innovative um, of rap? That's interesting. You know. Um, I wouldn't blow my own horn and say I am an innovator, but what I'll say is I try to innovate what I do. You know, I always try to do something, add a dimension to what I do. You know what I mean? And uh, that's my thing. You know, just uh, trying to do things that are that are new for me. You know, if they're new for everybody, that's cool, but I like to make them new for me. Now, before you, before you really got into um, making records and things like that, cause I know you went to Jackson, I'm yeah. from Queens, I know, and when rap was, you didn't have records for rap. Yeah. You used to go to the parks, like Baisley Park, Ajax Park. Mm -hmm. And you used to listen to Jamaica the Twins, Park. Jamaica Park, all that. You used to listen to the Twins and everything like that. Now, you think that essence is lost from that time to now? Because people don't go back in the parks anymore. You don't see these, um, these new guys trying to develop you their skills what? on the park. It's evolution, man. Like I said earlier, there were dinosaurs roaming this planet once. Yeah. They're not here anymore, baby. It's evolution. I mean, it changes. I mean, what used to be the park and, you know, a sound system and huge speakers is now a SB1200 in your room. Right. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it just changes. Yeah. The whole thought of it changes. I mean, DJing, you know, that, that aspect has changed. You know, every guy that would have been a DJ 10 years ago is now a producer. Right, exactly. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're it changes. Right. It changes. You know? Now, you think it's going to change that much where they're going to lose the essence? I think that you can't lose the essence because the spirit of rap is the lyrics. The spirit of rap is, you know, kids from urban areas telling tales of urban life or imagining what other li their life would be like in other places if they weren't there. So it, you can, this is one of those things that you can't take away. It's like African folklore, you know, it's like African tales. It's like those stories that your grandfather or your grandmother told you when you were little. Nobody can take those things away. Exactly. Nobody. It doesn't matter what they do. They can't take it away. So, no, the spirit, we'll never lose the spirit of this. I'm going to ask one more question, then we're going to get into the video. Cool. Um, now, when, when rap started and when DJ started, I know a lot of brothers out there, they take that pause button off their record, mm -hmm. off the radio, just take the break beats. Mm -hmm. And they take the break beats and try to rap to it. Mm -hmm. Did you do the same thing, too? There's, no, there's absolutely no doubt that I used to take... Paradise is very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get a Yeah, I did pause tapes. Pause I was a DJ. I did pause tapes. I remember when Transforming came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was exactly. saying, yeah. yo, man, come on. Yeah, 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 of course. I, I mean, I, yo, I did the, I banged on my desk and then I banged on the lunchroom mm -hmm. table for hours. Was in the gym banging on the bleachers, <laughs> bananas, using big tables for bass. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I do this. Yeah. This is what I do. It's real. 
And oh, I see some kids still doing that now. It's real because, okay. you, you, because it's part of our culture. Yeah. It comes back from, you know, it goes back to Africa, man. I mean, Congress, man, we're going to do that. Regardless, it's going to seep out, man. Your, your culture and your heritage is going to come out That's because right. it's in your DNA, man. And and, no one can't take you know, it. nobody can take your DNA from you. They can test it. <laughs> they can't, they take, can't it. take it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, we won't get into your...